Okay, so this question is another ratio question, but this time it's mixed up with uh, uh, mathematically similar shapes, but not just uh, length scale factor changes, it's got volumes and surface areas in it. So we need to remind ourselves that, uh, uh, that the volumes change and the areas change in a different way to how the lengths change. So if we just have uh, think about uh, the ratios of the length of A to the length of B, well we don't know anything, we don't know that information just yet, so we're going to leave that blank. If we consider how the area changes in ratio to the how the area changes of B, there's a relationship there, but we don't know anything about that either yet. What we do know is the volume of A in ratio to the volume of B follows this. It is 120 to 960. That's the ratio of the volumes. So if I simplify that ratio, I get the ratio of 1 to 8. We can use that information to go back and do some things with the length. So we know the length scale factors are related to the volume per scale factors, but they're the cube root. Okay? So the cube root of each of these things, which tells us the lengths are going to be in that ratio. If the lengths are 1 to 2, so if the length of B is twice as big as the length of A, that means the volume is going to be 8 times bigger. Now using that, we know that the square, not the cube that gives the volume, the square of the length scale factors, or how the length change, is going to give us how the areas change in similar shapes, so it's 1 to 4. So we were told the information that the ratio of the volumes was in the ratio 1 to 8. That tells us the length would be in the ratio 1 to 2, and the areas would be in the ratio 1 to 4. Okay? So, um, well, we're told that work out the ratio of the surface area of A to the surface area of B. Well, we've done that. The area 